All right, so in this video, I'm going to prove why there are five platonic solids. Um, well, we see the definition of a platonic solid right here. It says that each face is the same regular polygon. So we see that these are all regular shapes and the same number of polygons meet at each vertex. Um, so we see that the the same number of polygons, one, two, three, meet at each vertex. That is the corner. So one, two, three, we see one, two, three. So these are um, platonic solids here, and there are only five of them. So my question is, why are there only five? Well, in order to prove this, you need a couple of facts. You need the first fact, it's Euler's formula. Euler's formula states that for any connected graph, so a graph that's it's essentially all together. It, it, you can't have another solid over here. It states that you that this formula holds true. F, the number of faces, so we would just count the number of faces, plus the vertices in our graph. This is the number of vertices minus the number of edges, these things, is equal to two. That's what Euler's formula states. So we need that result. We also need another result. And this is called the sum of degrees formula. And you can prove the sum of degrees formula. I like how she actually proves it down here. Um, she proves that uh, the sum of degrees of a graph is equal to twice the number of edges. She also proves that there's you can't have a graph with an odd number of odd vertices, which she does in this video too. And I really like how she does it. It's pretty slick, so you should check that out too. But what we see here is that the sum of degrees formula states that if you have see how this degree right of this vertex there are three edges attached to it which means it has degree three so if you have what you do is you go three plus 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 three is equal to two times the number of edges in our graph and she goes through and proves that right here so now let's get into the actual proof of it, um, the result. And there are a couple of things that we need to do. All right, so again, we mentioned Euler's formula and we mentioned the sum of degrees. Both are gonna come in handy with this. So the first the first result of to prove this is that and let's have S denote the number of sides per face of a graph. So right here, given a cube, we see S would be four. So S would be four. So if F, F is the number of faces, we see when F is one, we get one, two, three, four edges. When F is two, we see five, six, seven, eight edges. When F is three, we have, and this process continues throughout. And what we see here is that when you do this with these types of solids, that you have two you're counting each edge twice. You're counting an edge here and an edge here. So you have two times the number of edges as you are counting each edge twice. That's the first result. Now the second result is that let's denote, let's have M denote the number of um, faces at every single vertex in our graph. So we see there are one, two, three faces. Now this is another way of saying that there are, here, let me bring this up. Okay, here's another example. Let's say, let's just look at this graph right here. Let's say we had a vertex right here. And we're looking at it along, it could be some kind of shape, it could be some platonic solid, but we see there are one, two, three, four faces attached to it. Notice that there are one, two, three, four edges. We could easily prove that the number of faces is just the number of edges at a single vertex. In other words, the degree. So that's what's important about, um, about M here. Now, so we have the number of faces. So when we just, so we have the degree essentially at each vertex. M denotes the degree at each vertex. That's what we just proved. So M is the, that's what we just showed. M denotes the degree of every vertex. So what we see here is we have M, and V denotes the number of vertices. So if we had one, we would just have three. If we had two vertices, we would have three plus three. 
which would be 6. If we had three vertices, if so, if v was 3, we'd have um, 3 plus 3 plus 3. And this process continues, so we get 3 plus 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 3, plus three many, um, that's m times v. But we know that this number, these numbers right here, by the sum of degrees formula, that this is equal to 2 times the number of edges. We said that this number is equal to the sum of degrees of our graph, the 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 thing, which just so happens to be 2 times the number of edges. So that's the other thing. That's why we needed the sum of degrees formula. So let's bring these two equations back together. So S times F is equal to 2E right here and this one right here. What we can do to both of these is that we can manipulate the equations a little bit, divide S here, and we can divide by M here. And then putting this equation into Euler's formula, F plus V minus E is equal to 2, this one right here, we can substitute our values for F and V there and there. Now, so now we're here. And then it says, so now we're going to divide everything by 2e. So we divide everything by 2e and we get this. Now, the number of edges of our graph, we're dealing with platonic solids here. So e, e is going to be something like, it can't be 0. It can't, it can, you can't be 1. So it's going to be some number. It's uh, some number greater than, but it's going to be greater than 0. Okay? It's this number, 1 over e, is going to be greater than 0. It's going to be something like 1 over 2, 1 over 3. It's some number greater than 0. Okay, we could easily show that. Now, manipulating this equation here, we get this. We add 1 half to both sides and we get this. Now, let's check this out. This is kind of cool here. It so happens that this, so we know that this equation holds true for platonic solids. It so happens that every value for S and M that this equation works ends up being a platonic solid. So this one ends up being a platonic solid. This one, this one, this one, this one. The ones that we have to check are these guys right here. Okay, so if we check that these cannot be platonic solids, we will show that there are only five platonic solids. So let's do that. And also, I mean, I probably should have mentioned that um, S can't be some number like two. You can't have um, a platonic solid with two sides. I mean, that you can't, you can't do that. You can't have a polygon with two sides. Um, so those are, um, we don't have to worry about those. Um, so S and M are just numbers greater than or equal to four. So I'm going to say, as S is some number greater than or equal to 4, I'm just going to set S equal to X plus 4, where X is some um, integer greater than or equal to 0. Um, in doing so, this will include all numbers, all possible values for S greater than or equal to 4. So you get something like S is greater than 4, I mean, you get S is equal to 4 when X is 0. You get S is equal to 5 when x is 1. You get s is equal to 6 when x is 2. So this um, includes all your values for s greater than or equal to 4. And I'm also going to say m is equal to y plus 4 for the same reason. I'm going to define it to be some integer greater than or equal to 0. So substituting our values for s and m into, so s is x plus 4. I'm going to substitute it all the way back here. I'm going to substitute x plus 4 for s, and m is y plus 4. I'm going to substitute that in to that equation over all the way up there. We get this equation, must hold true. So I'm just by substitution. Therefore, okay, so we know that this holds true. Now, notice 1 over x plus 4 must be some value less than or equal to 0.25. The reason for that is that x is some number greater than or equal to 0. So when x is 0, you get something like 1 fourth is less than or equal to 0.25, which works. When x is equal to 1, you get 1 over 5, which you know is going to be less than 1 over 4 because it's the denominator is increasing. So that must work. 
and then that process continues indefinitely, and the same reason holds true with this equation over here. You get 1 over y plus 4 must also be less than or equal to 0.25. Now, so we showed that this holds true. Adding these two less than or equal to um, equations together, we get 1 over x plus 4 plus 1 over y plus 4 must be less than or equal to 0.25 plus 0.25, which is 0.5. Now, 1 over x plus 4 plus 1 over y plus 4 must be less than or equal to 0.5. But we just said it's greater than 0.5. You can't have two things be said that are contradictory in this way. So this, is, this means that all values for S and M that are greater than or equal to 0, I mean that are greater than or equal to 4, lead to contradictions, which means that these are impossible. So, in other words, we checked all of the possibilities that for um, platonic solids that aren't these five. I mean, of course, including when S is two and uh, those situations too. Um, but that completes the proof. So, I hope you enjoyed this video.